hello there welcome back to my channel so i'm meeting you here from a standing position because today's video is a shop my stash video so if you're interested in seeing what i will be picking up for the next month's makeup basket then just keep on watching okay so let's begin as you see here on the left here are my sort of staple products and you know it's the products that i like my project pan products and you know my eye primer and stuff like that that i use every day anyway so it is time for primer and i have one new primer and it is this one so this is the Becca first light priming filter um, I hope you can see that there I received it as a gift from uh, Claire and I can't wait to try it I can't wait to try it. I know Becca is out of business and I hope I don't fall in love with it but if I do then that's okay I'll you know it'll probably take me years <laughs> to finish that off but I do want to try that so that's going into my little basket here and then for foundations another new foundation so this is the clinique even better clinical uh foundation i tried it once on my skin this was super super full coverage it says serum foundation so i was like thinking this is going this is not going to be super full coverage but damn it is so yeah i just want to try it out more i have my one in the shade let me see cn08 linen which seems to be a good pretty good match for me uh right now so that's going into my basket as well i have a project pan concealer but it is almost uh finished so like i'm literally just trying to i'm using basically the mac pro longer concealer so i'm pumping 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 and maybe every fifth pump i'll get a little bit of product so there's just a teeny teeny tiny bit left so to make my life easier i am going to add another one this is the catrice true skin high cover concealer uh i really want to try the foundation as well but i do have the concealer and i do enjoy it super full coverage a very lovely looking underneath the eyes but the wand is kind of wonky uh, and i mean literally wonky it kind of is very flexible uh so i'm not a fan of that but i am a fan of the formula then for my brows i do have my pomade as usual but i do need a uh, brow gel so i am going to choose this one this is the ColourPop Brow Boss Gel. Uh, I've had this for ages and it's still going strong. So I want to get some more use out of it. And I have my one in the shade uh, Light Brown. Okay, moving over here. I have my... This is going to be wonky now. Give me all the sick. Okay, so uh, yeah. <laughs> like I said, moving over here, I have some of my powders. And I do have a new powder that I want to try. And this is the Pat McGrath Labs. Um, what is this one called? The Fetish Sublime Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Setting uh, Powder. So yeah, I'm gonna uh, try that one out. I did try it once, and I did uh, like it. Uh, but I do want to, you know, uh, try it more often so that I can form a better opinion and then for my cream bronzer i do have a new one in the post uh it has actually arrived to my friend's house because she is a mua and she has discounts so i ordered through her and i ordered the charlotte tilbury hollywood contour wand uh, so i still need to pick that up uh, so for now i am just going to stick with my chanel soleil tan the chanel for the next while until i get that uh contour wand in my possession then i'm going to put this one away and you know use the contour wand for cream blushes and cream uh highlighters i am going to choose these two so these are the this one is the kaja mochi pop uh blush and 
I have my one in the shade 02 Atmosphere. And this is what it looks like. It is like a super bouncy and super pigmented sort of blush. I can't wait to put this on my face. I haven't tried it yet, but it looks absolutely stunning. And I think it's going to look so nice on my skin. So I'm putting that in my basket. And also, I'm going back to my ColourPop on the Cusp Super Shock highlighter because as you can see i have a huge pan in here so i am like slowly kind of working on it to try and uh eventually finish it up maybe by next year that would be some sort of an achievement okay in terms of bronzers let me see what i have here let's choose this one this is the catrice sun glow matte bronzing powder as you can see huge huge pan here i really do hope that eventually i'm going to be able to uh use this one up and you know, maybe, maybe by spring next year, that would be something. Because as you can see, huge ban. Still not ready to repress it, but I'm hoping that uh, very soon that will be the case. Uh, for my blushes, I do want this Anastasia, yeah, Pink Passion. So this is the Anastasia Blush Trio in the shade uh, Pink Passion. If this can focus here we go i received it from claire this is what it looks like it's just beautiful three pink peachy sort of uh shades i already own a an anastasia blush trio uh in a different shade i think it's called party trio pool party sorry and i do really enjoy it but i haven't tried this one uh yet and this one just looks so so beautiful and i think i would be able to use all of these three shades so that is going into my little basket now i do have a project pan highlighter so i am not going to choose a highlighter but let's talk eyes a little bit so for a an eyeliner let's take a look what we have here Okay, for an eyeliner, oh, I don't know what I want. I think I'm going to go with this one because my shop, not my Pandos eyeshadows are very kind of peat, well, orange, purpley sort of uh, looks, kind of like sunrise sort of looks. So I think this one would work very well. So this is the Essence Extreme Lasting Waterproof Eye Pencil. And I have my one in the shade Rather Be a Unicorn. So I think this would work very well. So that's going in here. And uh, do I have it here? I want a shadow stick. It is a new shadow stick that I had received from Claire again. So let me just pull that out if I can see it. Here we go. So this is the Urban Decay shadow stick. And I have my one in the shade Mildew. Can you please focus? Maybe? No? Yes? Yeah, and I have my one in the shade Mildew, so it is a beautiful sort of army green shade. Let me just give you a swatch here. Look at this. So, so, so beautiful. It doesn't really go with my Pandos eyeshadows, but you know what? I still want to give it a try. It's a new product in my collection, so, you know, it's kind of nice to... Uh, try new things anyway i keep knocking over that tripod so that's the eyes sorted and now it's really only time for a lipstick sorry i had to move away a little bit so that you will get more or less the full kind of let me just move it a little bit more the full kind of view of my lipstick collection now i do have loads of lip products in my whole collection project pan like i have a oh i didn't turn on my light this entire time i hope the lighting will be okay hold on let me just turn it on now oh my god i was so stupid okay anyway i have a lip liner in my uh, whole collection project pan i have a lip crayon in my whole collection project pan and i have a lip gloss in my whole collection project pan so i don't really mu have much of a choice but i would like to use a like a bullet lipstick at least once or twice one of these ilia uh, uh, lipsticks so this is in cinnabar nope i think i want amber light wild rose so this one so this is the ilia lipstick in the shade amber light and this is what it looks like 
beautiful beautiful kind of very autumn sort of shade so let me just give you a swatch this is what it looks like it's hard to say very kind of rosy autumn like shade that oh my god that i think is gonna for fuck's sake a beautiful rosy sort of um shade that i think is gonna go very well in november in the fall time in the autumn uh so yeah i'm gonna I'm gonna choose this one I, and I know I won't be able to use this one very much because I will be working on my whole collection project pan items but at least once or twice would it be uh, enough for me so this is this month's basket as you can see uh, loads of new stuff loads of stuff for a speed reviews video and I love testing out new makeup uh, so I'm quite happy about that but that is it for today's video uh if you enjoyed it please don't forget to give this video a like and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this because obviously i try to do shop my stash every month i love creating a makeup basket for myself because that gives me an opportunity to test out things more thoroughly for you and for myself as well so if you enjoyed it, please don't forget to give this video a like and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Mwah.